Jacob is an engaged and inspiring leader. He is someone who is clearly passionate about public issues, about public service. He's also someone, I've seen him, he is someone who can take a big vision and then have the, you know, kind of do intuitiveness to get it done, to be that detail-oriented person. I think those are qualities that are great for making a good city council member. My first reaction to Jake was, here's a person who really wants to serve. He cares about this community. He cares about what the issues are for the constituents. He's in it not for himself, but for the community. Well, he's, he's obviously bright as can, can, can be. He's, he's totally well motivated. His energy and ability and integrity is exactly what we now need. Currently downtown, there's really not a lot of uh, green spaces. There's not a lot of focus on sustainability. There's not a lot of focus on buildings that are LEED certified. And I feel that that's something that's really important for the future developments of downtown. And I think that's something that Jacob Fry could definitely lead. Jacob Fry babysits my kid. So uh, that's a, you know real sweet to, to know him on that personal level. And I think that really shows that he is going to have a great idea about how to move his ward forward particularly for the young families that really want to stay in downtown and make call this home. I'm supporting Jacob Fry because he has shown that he can bring people together to address an issue, to solve a problem. He can energize a group of people. As a city council member, I want colleagues and allies on the council to get things done. We, we're immigrants, so we need a shoulder. We need someone who have been here before us with uh, leadership connections, and Jacob has been there for us. What can I say, He's, uh, we call him uh, one of our biggest supporters of our uh, social justice movement for our organization. The city council had a Martin Luther King Community Service Award, first one ever, and I saw that and I, I knew right away uh, Jacob was the one who needed to win that, and so I nominated him for it. I talked about everything that he had done with Project Homeless Connect, with the Big Gay Race, um, with all of the uh, help that he had given tenants in North Minneapolis after the tornado. All of his work to improve the, the city of Minneapolis for diversity, for equality, you know, for harmony in general. I mean, he was the obvious candidate and he won the award. Well, given our, our law practice, uh, we represent employees uh, in discrimination and retaliation suits. Uh, so we're often taking on large corporations. And Jacob has been very effective in taking on the role of the, uh, the David against the Goliath. And I think that's the kind of spirit we need in the city council. For Minneapolis in the future, we can't rest on our laurels. We have to be able to be the city that continues to be known for great urban policy, great neighborhoods, and a place where small businesses can get their start. Jacob Fry on the city council is going to be a leader who's going to help us get there. Fry is my guy.